I'm Pete Conti, Executive Vice President of Burrell Associates. With me is Bob Garfield. Bob is a commentator and analyst for Advertising Age, a co-host of the Peabody award-winning NPR program on the media, and the author of The Chaos Scenario. Bob will be our keynote speaker at the local online advertising conference in New York, March 21st and 22nd of 2012. Welcome, Bob. Thank you very much, Pete. A lot of people are predicting, uh, even yourself, I guess, predicting the death of traditional media operations. But history has shown that throughout time, new media never completely displaces old media. That's true. I mean, has the landscape changed so radically as to make history obsolete? No, history isn't obsolete. There has been nothing in history in media equivalent to the digital revolution. Hmm. This is not the difference from, um, from radio to television. This is not the difference between pre-VCR and VCR. And, um, you know, it's not, even, it's not even the difference, strictly speaking, between uh, pre-computer and post-computer. What it has to do with is a, a societal revolution that is plundering media right now, along the way to plundering a whole lot of the, other human enterprises. The digital revolution is akin to the discovery of fire. It's akin to uh, antibiotics, to manned flight, to the automobile. Changing human uh, activity in a profound way. And everything else that happened before in the history of media since the printing press has been small potatoes. History does offer some, it offers some clues, the Industrial Re Revolution, you know, being right at the top of the list. Uh, when we went from a, an artisan, bespoke economy, a single cobbler making a pair of shoes, to factory-made shoes, uh, it changed the lives of pretty much everybody in the world. And the steam engine and the uh, and train transportation simultaneously did approximately the same thing. It radically reordered human experience, and that's what's, that's what's going on now. Hyperlocal experiments uh, haven't been able to su sustain themselves yet. Mm -hmm. How how can a local media company find a uh, financially sustainable model in such fragmentation? <laughs> well, my answer is they probably can't. The the uh, amid such fragmentation, the combination of incredible fragmentation, which limits your audience size. And the, the uh, inexorable downward uh, uh, trajectory of advertising prices means that nobody, nobody is going to have the critical mass to mm -hmm. professionally and profitably deliver news. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, the, the future isn't in hyperlocal, per se, as a standalone operation. In my opinion, weirdly, the, the answer is going to be in consolidation. I believe that in every market, the winner will be the entity, whether it's a local TV station, a public radio station, a local newspaper, a, 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 a series of hyper-local sites banded together, or some parties as yet unthought of, to form strategic relationships for content and for revenue with other players in that market. And the, and the, the, the combination of organizations that get there first mm -hmm. uh, and create revenue streams while su simultaneously becoming the central hub for news and information and culture in their communities, they win, they, they scoop the pot and everybody else just disappears. So they're, it, it, weirdly, uh, paradoxically, this, this vast, vast, vast uh, fragmentation is going to lead into consolidation and I believe in market after market after market, winner takes all.